This is Antonio Ruiz with PalacioMagazine.com. I'm speaking with Stella Ursua, Strategic Partnership Manager, and Leticia Polanco, Outreach Coordinator for the nonprofit Grid Alternatives. Hello. Hello, Antonio. So I just want to read from the organization's website, Grid Alternatives. Um, it's a 501c3 certified nonprofit organization that brings together community partners, volunteers, and job trainees to implement solar power and energy efficiency for low-income families, providing energy cost savings, valuable hands-on experience, and a source of clean local energy that benefits us all. Now, that's an impressive mission. It is. Break it down. It is. It Break is. it down. Thank you, Antonia, for this opportunity. So, um, Grid Alternatives, uh, as you mentioned, is uh, the only nonprofit uh, that installs solar systems for specifically low-income uh, families that live in environmentally polluted neighborhoods. Grid Alternatives has completed about 1,200 installs in the L.A. County uh, area, and so that goes all the way from Wilmington to Long Beach to Watts to Pomona over to Oxnard, Ventura, and uh, places in between there. And so we are really proud about the fact that we have connected so many people to clean energy uh, solar systems. So how do you find these clients? Leticia, can you talk a little bit about that? Well, basically, we have different types of, types of doing outreach. And one of them is... Uh, people can go to our website and they can fill out a form and we uh, take that data, consider it as the leads. But we also get uh, in contact with the community through events. We also do canvassing, which is door knocking. We also do um, or host other type of events where we can gather other community-based organizations and we partner and now we're doing workshops with other organizations and trying to get a, a, like a cluster. Instead of going individually, we're trying to get more families helped at, at, at one spot. And on one what, you mean in one yeah. neighborhood? Mm -hmm. no, well, that would be ideal. Yeah. Like yeah. if we could get one block. But right. we used to have something called solar thons and... Um, it, it's ideal to do, let's say, three to f more than five houses in right. a block, but that will depend on, you know, the requirements for the program because families have to qualify. Right. So, so I'm just kind of curious. I said this earlier. I mean, I'm just trying to imagine somebody walks up to a house, knocks on the door and says, hey, I want to put some solar panels on your, on your roof. How do you do that? Yeah, exactly. So Letty started to describe, you know, our outreach efforts. And one of the things that we've started to do this year, Antonio, is to reach out to the local community-based organizations because um, they will be able to help us um, co connect first with the homeowners that we're, that we're trying to outreach to. But, you know, there's a, there's a, a, a trust that's been built with that community-based organization. Mm -hmm. And so we're partnering with them. That's why we now have a, now have a strategic partnerships department. Um, and so, uh, as Letty mentioned, we're doing presentations with them at our side. Okay. Um, we, we ask them to introduce us to the homeowners um, so that they feel that, you know, this is legit. This is not one of the hundred solar uh, installation companies that are out there that are knocking on, on doors saying, hey, we've got a free product for you and everything's wonderful and trust us, you know, you're not going to pay a dime. And then they find out later on that, you know, they might have give, been given some, some incorrect information there. Mm -hmm. So we really are counting on the community-based organizations to partner with us and to help uh, uh, educate those homeowners. What do you say to people who say, yeah, but what's it? What's it? What benefit is it to me? So, so we um, we try to you know again start that 
you know, building that rapport. And and here's where the education piece comes in, Antonio, is um, some folks don't understand that they live in a an environmentally polluted neighborhood. So, you know, as we start to talk to them, then they then they start to realize, yeah, yeah, I understand. I live by the freeway or I live by the port or mm-hmm. by refineries, right? Mm-hmm. And so, you know, we, we try to kind of, uh, uh, build that uh, um, build that that foundation with them first, just by educating them right. and by by um, showing them that because of uh, legislators here in California that fought hard um, to to try to mitigate uh, you know the situation here, there are now funds that are are available to families that live in these areas and that they need to tap in to these programs right. like. Uh, you know the the solar the free solar uh, energy program. Yeah, what we tell them is that uh, you're going to do majorly three things. When you have solar at your home, the benefit is that you are going to start using clean energy. Okay, because they don't understand where the energy they're having now it's coming right. from right. and what it what does it take you know for 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 that to be generated. Then the second is like, you are gonna have big savings, you know, financially. The money that you're paying in your bill, uh, with the solar panels, we might be able to reduce it from 50 to 90%, you know, and then if you are paying a bill. Now you got my attention. Yes, Mm -hmm. if you're paying a bill, let's say between 80, 100 something, I have heard of homeowners that they, in the 200, 300, that is a scary. That sounds a little bit like my, my uh Right, my, my and then, so if I tell you, uh, with the solar panels, you're going to be able, or we are going to be able to help you to save, you know, between 70 to 90 percent, you know, depending on your usage, obviously, and uh, you're going to want to have that because that money might go into something else for your family. Whether if it's a medical bill, whether if it's medicines, whether if it's a mm-hmm. family trip that you want to stay for, so, you name it. I, I think that's that's the part that everybody gets everybody's attention is, is the is, is the cost savings. Yeah. Because yes. I think that's and indirectly you are going to do something good for your community and the planet. Because the least people using uh, fossil fuel energy uh, generated the cleaner your area is going to be. I know the first question that comes out of everybody's mouth. Uh, how much is this going to cost me? Right, <laughs> right. And it's no cost to the, to the homeowners. Absolutely no cost. Yeah. Nothing. 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 No. <laughs> and again, that's because of the cap and trade bill. Mm-hmm. So, okay, you've got me convinced. You've got them convinced. <laughs> um, how do I sign up? What kind of paperwork do I have to provide to qualify? Who qualifies? <clears throat> We wish everyone would qualify because uh, we agree think that everyone deserves to have solar and we want to make this uh, accessible to everybody. But this state obviously has some guidelines, you know, for who can qualify for this. And right now, because solar has been something only other families who make more money have been able to pay. They have made it available to low from going from low income to moderate income, which it means that um, it will depend on the medium. I mean, is it called medium income area? Mm-hmm. And that is based on the census, something that we oh. have no control over. Okay. Right? Okay. And then, so people have to prove that they own the home and live in the home. Oh, okay. 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 And then the next step is to uh, qualify in the brackets that they have given to us based on the income guidelines. Right. So that being said, the next step is they got to have a, uh, a, a good roof. And what a good roof means for us oh, is right. a good roof for solar because right. we're, we're going to go uh, sit some system on your roof that we want to right. last at least for 15 to 20 years. Right, right. Okay. Am I forgetting another one? I mm-hmm. think, oh, they have to live, yes, in the map. There is a map. It's called the SB. It, it's based on the bill. It's, it's for the disadvantaged, uh, environmentally disadvantaged communities. Mm-hmm. So we check, let, let me uh, say that 
That's the first thing we check. Tell people how they can get more information. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about the website. Mm -hmm. Yes. So um, you can get more information by um, connecting. If you live in the Long Beach area, Letty is going to be your outreach coordinator. And uh, your phone number, Letty, is? 310-735-9846. Say it again. 310 735 47. And if they don't find me because I'm out there knocking doors, mm -hmm. <laughs> they can always leave me a message and I will get back to them. And the website is? It's www.gridalternatives.org. Great. Gridalternatives.org. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Is there anything that we forgot? Yes, Antonio, one last thing, and I think it's a really important piece, um, especially in the communities that we serve. Um, there is a workforce development piece that's um, connected oh, to, right. to all of this. And so, um, you know, we are a, a small but growing organization. Um, we would rather use our funds to connect people to those actual solar systems, clean energy systems. So we utilize volunteers from the communities that we serve. Um, and those volunteers eventually, um, after they've experienced a solar uh, installation, like two, three or four installations, they then have those basic skills um, that will help them to get their foot in the door of solar uh, contracting companies or perhaps even a local utility. Um, so w this workforce piece is really important to us because we've connected thousands of uh, volunteers to eventual jobs. And so these are folks that may have gotten a solar system themselves or maybe they live next door to somebody. We have a number of uh, coordinators now that, that did this very thing where they volunteered two, three, four times and then they applied with grid alternatives and then they got a job here or they went on to work for other solar companies like you know, Solar City and some of the other ones that are out there. So um, it's, it's just a, a really neat model of how we uh, deliver this service to those that most need it, to the homeowners that uh, who, you know, might have, um, might be having challenges with, you know, paying bills, utility bills too high, that sort of thing. And then the workforce, workforce piece comes in and, and helps as well, so. Great, fantastic. So let me just uh, finish by saying, if you want more information, go to www.gridalternatives.org, or you can call Leticia Polanco at 310-735-9847. I want to thank you, Stella, and you, Leticia, of the nonprofit organization Grid Alternatives. Thank, thank you, you Antonio. This is Antonio Ruiz for Palacio Magazine. Get ready for solar. <laughs> Get ready for solar. Thank you.